Hey, what's up? This is Casey, your English 101 teacher. Uh, we've got a great class today. Uh, we're going to talk about a very famous poet named William Wordsworth and a poem he wrote about a rainbow. So, uh, before we get started, we've got to do some review. So, what is the 18th century? It's kind of a trick question. The 18th century is actually the 1700s. So, uh, right now we're in the 21st century, even though it's the 2000s. How about British? Well, British just means, is another way to say English. Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, all those places. How about romantic? Well, sometimes we think of romantic like romantic comedies uh, or a romantic uh, evening, a romantic date, a romantic person, and maybe that's something to do with love. In this case, when we're talking about romantic poetry, it's not always about love. So today's uh, poem isn't about love, but it's kind of sort of part of it. Romantic is more Roman, so we'll get into it. Okay, we review. How do we read poetry? Well, we read poetry we read it one time, all the way through, and then we read it another time, line by line, okay? I know that takes a long time, but that's how it goes. Okay, so William Wordsworth is a, was a British poet, and he was, he lived from 1780, right? 1770 to 1850. So he was a pretty old guy when he finished up. Um, and he likes to write about art, nature, and things that made him happy. So that's where romantic came in. So romantic is something uh, that made people, uh, they were writing about nature and everything, but they were also writing using what we say everyday language. So maybe they would be talking like, they would say, LOL, or I ain't seen that before. Uh, you know, those aren't really words and it might make some people go a little bonkers, but uh, it's just how some romantic poetry was back then. Uh, they might also use double negatives, so they might say, "I my grammar is so perfect I almost never even use them, so it's hard to use it on purpose. I've never seen no movie like that, okay? Maybe in poetry, is that okay? I don't know. What do you think? So, William Wordsworth wanted art to be for everybody. He wanted it to be easier to understand. He wanted it to be easier and uh, about everyday things, things like nature. Another famous poet wrote an entire very famous poem uh, all about a Grecian urn that he saw in a museum. And it, an urn is just like a vase where you keep flowers. So uh, instead of some writing, like if you've ever read Dante's Inferno 
or Homer's The Odyssey or anything by William Shakespeare. You read something and then you gotta look something up. And then you read something and then you gotta look something up. And then you read something and you gotta go on Google. Uh, ro the romantic times were just kind of for making things easier to understand. Just think about if your grandma and grandpa went to see Avengers Endgame or Toy Story 4. They might say, who's he? Who's he? Who's she? What's that? I don't understand. I don't get it. Ugh. Okay, so the romantic period just cut all of that out. You didn't have to see any movies. You didn't have to see read any other books. You just needed to know that one thing. <sighs> who's, who's your favorite Avenger? So, William Wordsworth wrote this poem called The Rainbow or My Heart Leaps Up. So it has two titles. We'll read it. We're going to do it two times, okay? My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when my life began. So is it now I am a man. So be it when I shall grow old, or let me die. The child is the father of the man. And I could wish my days to be bound each to each by natural piety. Okay, so that was our first time. So what did we notice there? Okay, we noticed it was a poem. It was a sonnet. It rhymes a little bit. It has some rhythm, but it's not like a normal haiku. It's not like a normal sonnet. It's, um, very free form, we'll say. So now we'll read it a second time, line by line, and we'll talk about these things. So he says, my heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So we might say, what does that mean? My heart leaps up. Okay, if you don't know, that means he's very excited. So he's excited when he sees this rainbow. So was it when my life began, so is it now, I am a man. So he was excited when he saw rainbows as a little kid, and he was excited when he saw, and he is excited when he sees them now as a man. So be it when I shall grow old, or let me die. So now he's saying, I hope I always love rainbows, or what's the point of living? The child is the father of the man. So this is a weird sentence put in this poem. Uh, the child is the father of the man. We know children grow up, become moms and dads, have their own kids, become moms and dads. So children are the future of humanity. Why is it in here? I don't know. I didn't write the poem. And I could wish my days to be bound each to each by natural piety. So now he's saying he hopes all of his days to be connected by just purity, happiness, and joy. Okay? All right. So... The big question you always get when you're teaching about poetry is, when am I ever going to use this? What is the point of life about a 200-year-old poem? Well, if you ever want to write, uh, if you ever want to write your own poetry or read poetry, you're going to have to learn to understand this stuff. Same thing with songs. If you want to read, or 
interpret whatever the songs mean or write your own songs, you're gonna this is a perfect place to start because they're fairly easy to understand. If you ever want to write your own love letters or read your own love letters, you better learn how to understand them. Okay? So that's where this is useful. Uh, I can tell you, writing a love letter will make people happy all the time. So, I want you to do some thinking. What are some things that make you happy? Some things that make you sad? Things that make you angry? Which poems or songs make you feel that way? Do you prefer language that is perfect? Or are you okay with just common stuff? I don't think there's a right answer. I think there's good examples and bad examples. So, your homework. I want you to find a poem or a song, and I want you to analyze it. You're going to uh, pick out some of the words that you like, some of the words maybe you don't like, Things that you don't really understand. I don't care if you don't understand all of it. I just want you to try and figure out most of it. Um, so, if you want to write about Gangnam Style, you want to write about Sweet Child of Mine, you want to write about You and Me Baby Ain't Nothing But Mammals, you can write about that. But I want you to look at this song or at this poem, make sure you read it at least two times and then write about every single line. Okay? Thanks a lot. Thanks for listening to my lesson on William Wordsworth, British Romantic Poetry from the 18th century. And have a great day. I'll see you at our next class. Bye bye.